greeting. Welcome to introductory project presentation on topic of neural machine translation. Well, the project goal is Ukrainian English translation using NMT systems based on the SEQ to SQ model with RNN lawyers. Yeah, it sounds a bit complicated, but during the presentation I will explain the essence of these things. So let's look at our agenda. Uh, first of all, we will define what is machine translation, types of it, especially neural. Uh, then we will talk about SEQ to SEQ model and some project details. So let us start. And machine translation is the process of using artificial intelligence to automatically translate content from one language to another without human input. In other words, a computer program translates text without the need for human translator to intervene. And uh, let's look at the types of machine translation. And the first one is rule-based, which is now mostly obsolete, because it relies on linguistic information about the source and target languages. The next one is statistical, and it works, uh, works by analyzing enormous amounts of existing translations and multilingual corpora, and looking for statistical patterns in this input. And the newest one is neural. It uses neural networks to translate source text to target text. And let's look a little closer to NMT. It is state-of-art machine translation approaches that utilizes neural network techniques to predict the likelihood of a set of words in sequence. This can be a text fragment, complete sentence, or with the latest advances, an entire document. Well, in this project we will use SEQ to SEQ model, uh, that is a special class of recurrent neural networks architectures uh, that we typically use to solve complex uh, lingual, uh, linguistic problem. And uh, this is about training models to convert sequences from one domain to sequences in another domain. And there are, type, there are multiple ways to handle this task, either using RNNs uh, or using 1D coordinates. But we will focus on uh, RNNs. And uh, let's uh, a typical SEQ to SEQ model has two major components. First one is uh, one RNN lawyer named encoder, which processes the input sequences and returns on in or its own internal state, and the next one, another RNN lawyer named Decoder. It trained to predict the next characters of the target sequences, given the previous characters of the target sequences. So, and now a little about project data. As, as the data set, we will use a set of Ukrainian and English pairs of sentences with the tab separators, and it was obtained from an open database of sentences and translation. Well, uh, it's all for now. Thank you for your attention.